Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out the Hunter Bergman channel. Today we're going to be building walls on this Gorilla car to increase the height of its internal capacity. The Gorilla cart has eight individual slots that you're able to put stakes in and we'll go through the measurements of each board in order to accommodate that. Over at the workbench, I have a six foot by three quarter inch by one and a half inch common board times two, and I'm gonna cut them into 15 inch stakes. One thing you'll notice is it's a very tight fit trying to squeeze the stake down into the plastic. So what I'm going to do is three inches up from the bottom of the stake, which is equivalent to the height of this um, plastic insert, I'm going to just take the orbital sander and just shave a little bit of wood off. We'll try this fitting out. It's still pretty snug. I'll just tap the top with the hammer a few times. And that's a perfect fit there. Next for materials, you're gonna need two 10 foot long boards by six inches wide by three quarter inches deep. And we're gonna start by making our first two cuts. Each is gonna be 25 and a half inches. Next thing you can do is put the stakes in, line up the piece of wood on the bottom, and then use your clamps to align in position, and then drill a couple pilot holes for the screws. Next part is take the top board and align that right on top here, clamp that down. We're going to do the same thing, drill pilot holes and then screws. Now you can see this first section here is complete. Next step is to put the stakes in one of the sides and tap them down all the way to the bottom and then make sure they are all square. The next cuts we're gonna to have to make are gonna be four 38 inch long pieces. On two of the 38 inch boards, we're gonna slice off a 45 degree angle at the end here. 
so that way when the cart dumps, uh, this part won't get snagged off. I've gone ahead and attached the bottom piece and now I just clamped up the top piece and I can go ahead and drill my pilot holes and screw it into place. Now with this side fully assembled, I can go ahead and repeat all those same steps to build the other side. Well that's it, all sides are up and here's the finished product. One thing to note is I did not actually put screws in the bottom here to attach the stakes in. I noticed that it was a snug enough fit that it didn't need to be screwed in so I can remove these panels if I ever want to very easily. Well that's the end of this video guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.